I think that when you have odds that are these this this short, right? I mean, you have the opportunity to to bet in the match. I mean, I think that even betting Stefano Tsitsipas to win 3-0 is just not going to be uh, not going to be a fun time. And you know what we've seen with Tsitsipas in tournaments past is he's actually had some issues early on in the tournaments. Uh, if you look at the French, uh, the the U.S. Open, he almost lost. Uh, I actually would think that Jeremy Shardy gives Stefano Tsitsipas a pretty good fight here. I mean, he generally speaking plays well at the French Open. He's also um, pretty solid on serve. He doesn't really lose serve a lot, and it's a terrible draw for him, obviously, facing this, the second most uh, favored player to win the tournament. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if I'm looking at the game spread here, I think there might be a little bit of value in Jeremy Shardy to cover the nine and a half. He definitely, again, just is not someone that really drops his serve a lot. He's got a big power forehand. He has the powerful type of game that could bother Sitsi Pass a little bit early on in this match. And generally speaking, has been a very good player to bet against the spread. So in this scenario, I think in the Popper and Nadal match, I might be looking to bet Nadal on the game spread. I think that Shardy here could definitely cover the nine and a half or maybe even the total here, because I could see Shardy taking this to at least one tie break. You can get pretty good odds on over 28 and a half. I kind of like that. 